Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. We start with saying no to ourselves. We start there. This new year, I suggest you start there. Form that habit. When is a habit formed? I thought about that, knowing this was coming today. I thought, if we want to get ready for this kind of lifestyle, I suggest a year. Give it all you've got for this year. Start by saying no to what you want. That's a major leap for many. Second, second must, followers of Jesus take up our cross every single day. It's a must. Must. Now this explains and intensifies denying yourself. In that era, understand, every condemned criminal that was killed under the Roman system was seen in the streets bearing the horizontal beam of his cross. He couldn't carry it all. Often just the horizontal beam was more than he could stand because he had been scourged as well. But either across his shoulders or dragging in the ground or on the street behind him, he's holding onto the cross beam and he's pulling it inexorably toward that place of death. And it was always a one-way trip. Imagine. That's what they thought of when they heard the word cross. Now you take up yours every day. There will be crosses that occur all year long there's no way I could mark my day timer with them. I don't know what they will be. But I will have at least one every day. And so will you. Yours will be different from mine, and hers will be different from yours, and, and his altogether different from, from yours or mine. Because the Lord shapes us into Christ's image in specific ways and in, I might add, very private crosses. And some of them will be horrendous. Cynthia and I were so pleased to see the old year leave. I, I didn't want to celebrate the coming of a new one. I want to celebrate the ending of the old one. Goodbye. Um, it's out. But you know what? You know where I learned what I learned through that? In the crosses of it. Some of them were borderline unbearable. I never dreamed I would face a cross like that. Now, I'm no martyr. You have yours as well. But I love Christ so deeply that I don't resent those crosses. Having endured them, gone through them, I say thank you, Lord, for helping me endure them. Helping me, go, helping me live past him. Thank you. Thank you for that scar. Thank you for depth that I have now that I would not have had if it had not been that I tasted it on that day of that old year. I must bear my own cross every day, and so must you. Our common response to trials is resistance, but trials have a purpose. They help us to mature and they teach us to depend on God. If you're going through a time of testing, instead of resisting it, try welcoming it for the good it will do in your life. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, Three Musts for a New Year, was copyrighted in 2011 
and this live track sound recording was copyrighted in 2012 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.